हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अन अदर प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम इज कन्वर्ट बी एस टी टू ग्रेटर ट्री सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन रूट ऑफ बाइंडी सर्च ट्री कन्वर्टेड इट टू अ ग्रेटर ट्री सच दैट एवरी की ऑफ द ओरिजिनल बी एस टी इज चेंज टू ओरिजिनल की प्लस द सम ऑफ ऑल द की इज ग्रेटर देन ओरिजिनल की इन द बी एस टी ओके एज अ रिमाइंडर अ बाइंडी सर्च ट्री इज अ ट्री that satisfies these constraints left subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys less than the nodes key right subtree contains nodes with keys greater than the nodes key and both left and right subtrees must also be binary search trees so i hope you are familiar with what is binary search tree and what are its properties so what in this problem we have to do right let's see that so this is the test case for example let's take this three this three node let's take this so here this 3 will be replaced with 3 plus like the current value of this node 3 plus all the values in this bst which are greater than 3 okay for example 4 is greater than 3 5 6 is greater than 3 5 is greater than 3 7 is greater than 3 and 8 is greater than 3 so when we add all these we get 33 so this 3 Will replaced with 33. This 3 will get replaced by 33. Okay. Similarly, uh, if we see for this 8, now see guys, for this 8, obviously this is the rightmost child, na? In this binary search tree, this is just make sure you know that this is a binary search tree, okay? So in this binary search tree, this 8 is the rightmost child. So if it is the rightmost child. it means that it will be the most greater value right most child right so obviously 8 will be the largest value in the entire bst because this is the right most child so obviously there will be no element greater than 8 so 8 will be remaining will remain as such okay so 8 plus nothing will be there so 8 only so if you see here 8 is 8 only for this 7 so for this 7 what is there 7 plus we can do 8 7 plus 8 so it will be 15 because only 8 is greater than 7 so 7 plus 8 will be 15 and this 7 will get replaced by 15 okay so in this way every node in this bst right we have to replace it with the uh, greater than uh, all with the uh, the current value plus all the values which are greater than let let's say it is x so current node value is x and we have to add in it all the node values which are greater than x so this will be the final value of the node okay so i hope you understood what the problem is now let's see how we can think of the approach so this is a tricky question right it's very simple it's very simple but just it's little bit tricky so the trick is very awesome let's see that what it is so 7 8 and 3 now see guys generally when we have to do sum every time na like uh, one simple and very uh, not efficient approach is that uh, for example if i am at this node i will search in the bst right i will find out the sum of all nodes sum of all nodes which are greater than this two two node obviously i can do this so when i am at this two node i will start traversing from this four and i will find out the sum of all the nodes which are greater than 2 so i get that sum as x1 so that x1 i will add in 2 and i will replace this 2 with that value let's say it is y so i'll replace this 2 with y but see guys this approach what you need to do every time you need to do for every node for example if i'm at 1 again i will search in the whole bst uh, sum of all the nodes which are greater than 2 oh sorry greater than 1 and that sum i will add in 1 then right so obviously this is not an efficient approach because we are uh, uh, for each node we are traversing bst again and again right that is like for this node also we will search in the bst the sum then for this node also we will search in the bst so when this repetitive work is coming na like we are again and again searching or finding out the sum so when this repetitive work is coming then what we can do is we can return or we can have some variable which will store the value how does that work let's see that so let me here see this is 2 right 
so in this case what we will do right in this approach the thing is that rightmost child will remain as such right this rightmost child will remain as such and there will be always uh, obviously no greater than uh, element than this rightmost child so what i will do now i will i am right now at root first of all i will recursively traverse till the rightmost child here i came here now this 8 will be 8 only i will have a variable sum initialize it with 0 so first of all what i am doing i am making a recursive call i am going to roots right every time i am going to roots right every time so here root is 4 so i go to roots right which is 6 then root is 6 so i go to roots right which is 7 then root is 7 i go to 7's right which is 8 so now root is at 8 so this is the rightmost child so here sum we are currently sum will be 0 and from here we just return we return right and this 7 here this 8 right will be added in the sum because this 8 will be value greater than 7 so this 8 i will add in the sum variable and we will return from here and in this 7 now this is the root 7 is the root so here let me just write it like this 7 is the root okay so now in 7 what we will add this sum variable so 7 plus it will become 7 plus 8 which is 15 so this value 15 we will update in roots value so roots value will be equal to 15 that is here 7 will replace by 15 okay and now we will return so we return right so right now uh, what after this first step after this recursive call what we did the second step was that is in root uh, roots value we added sum that is this step and then third step was that we updated roots value roots value seven's value with this sum which is so let me take this as y sum so root value will become 5 y 15 and after that what we are doing we are just returning okay so from here we will go to 6 we will do 6 plus now see here sum this sum right this sum needs to be 8 or it needs to be 15 just think about it what this sum should be when we are adding in 6 this sum should be 8 or 15 i think it should be 15 why because 7 and 8 both are greater than 6 so total sum which is greater than 6 is 15 so every time right whenever we are updating the roots value this sum value also will become 1 uh, y so sum will be 15 and then 6 plus 15 this second step we are doing so this will come out to be uh, 21 and then this 21 will update as roots value and also sum will update 21 okay right now guys see now should we go here or should we go to the left i think we should go to the left right so here what i will do after this here fifth step will be recursive call to roots left recursive call to roots left so 6 here it goes to left 5 5 plus sum which is 21 so 21 is the sum of all the nodes see 6 plus 7 plus 8 6 plus 7 plus 8 this is 21 na so 21 is the sum of all the nodes which are greater than 5 so 5 plus 21 26 5 will be replaced by 26 so see we are breaking this tree right 26 21 now here uh, this uh, root node we have updated sum we have to update to 26 and recursive call uh, left is nothing so we just return from here and we return to this 4 so for this 4 4 plus sum value which is 26 30 will become 30 we update here and 30 we update in the sum so you might be thinking that why we started from right because see guys these right subtree values will be always greater than right this left subtree so what we are doing is we are maintaining the sum of all the nodes which are great like the sum of all the nodes which are greater than a particular node for example if i am at 
in this sub value i will have the sum of the nodes which are greater than 6 if i am at 4 in the sum variable i will have the sum of all the nodes which are greater than 4 okay so from this 4 now we will go to left so left it will go here 1 but see na na see guys now here it will not calculate for this one first it will go to the right first 2 and 3 so it comes here at 3 So this three plus what will happen? Three plus. Just think about it. Here three plus it will be thirty. Sum is thirty, right? Three plus thirty. This will be thirty-three. So updated thirty-three. Sum updated to thirty-three, and we return. So for this two now two plus sum. Sum is thirty-three. So it will be thirty-five. And sum will be thirty-five. So see, this three is greater than two, right? So that's why first we have gone to three, and then we are going to two. So then we go back one plus the sum thirty-five. So it will be thirty-six. And now we go to the left because this one was greater than zero. So first we have to go to one and then to zero. So this will be thirty-six. Uh, Plus zero, so it will be thirty-six. This will get updated to thirty-six. Okay, so something like this is the tree which we have created. So I hope you understood this approach. Very simple. Just we need to do the opposite traversal, right? First we have to go to the right, then we go to the root. So here, first we go to the right, then we go to the we do the work on the root, and then we go to the left. Okay, so now let's quickly see the code for this. In and see, so time complexity will be what we are going to each node, right? Every time we are just going to each node once. So time complexity will be O of n, where n is the number of nodes, and space is also O of n, like uh, if recursive stack is taken into account. Okay, so see, we have taken a sum variable. This will be a global variable, right? It will be a global variable, as in it will be a private variable. so here we have convert bst function first root is not null so we make the right call we add the sum value root value in the sum update the root value and we convert uh, then we make the left call and at last we have to return root because we have to return this value 30 right return type is tree node i hope you understood the problem and the approach dry run once and it will become more clear uh let me know in the comments if you have any doubt if found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you